Hello from Blackpool Pleasure Beach, or should that be Pleasure Beach Resort? I'm at the Big Blue Hotel, I'm staying here for the first time since 2022, so it's time for a room review. Let's go and have a look. inside my room here in the Big Blue Hotel and I'm gonna have a little look around show you on camera what this room looks like so this is room 339 I've stayed in this room before I actually stayed in this room the night before I first ever went on Icon back in May 2018 and the views out to the Pleasure Beach are incredible and I will show those in this video but for now let's do a little room tour I'm gonna to be walking and talking so the camera works gonna be a bit iffy from here onwards but hopefully it'll show the room well and I'll talk through it as I walk around. So let's start by taking a little look at some of the complimentary stuff. So just as you come inside the room, you've got your kettle, you get two mugs, complimentary shortbreads, good selection of tea bags and coffee. Whilst we're here, we'll go and have a look in the bathroom. Oh yeah, you get some uh, coat hangers as well. Ironing board. Right, here we go, bathroom facilities. So, get some complimentary stuff to use. When you're having a wash or a shower, obviously you've got your toilet and you get the choice of a shower or having a bath. It's always nice to have that choice. And for those of you that do like to look in the mirror, there you go. I don't like looking in the mirror, I don't like what's looking back, so we'll move on from that. So away from the bathroom, here is the main bedroom area of the deluxe double room. So the bathroom and the tea and coffee making facilities are back over there towards that door so it's not all cramped into a tight space and the bed is a decent size it looks to be an actual double bed the last time I stayed in the big blue I was in one of these rooms but it was actually just two mattresses or two beds just pushed together and for the price I found that really annoying but yes that is a double bed so that's good I can actually stretch out and not feel like I'm going to fall down the middle of it now if you do stay here and you're on business, you'll be pleased to know that there is a workspace. Now this workspace might not be the biggest workspace in the world, but I've used it many a time when I've stayed in these rooms for editing vlogs, whether it be Pleasure Beach opening weekend, Icon opening, Pleasure Beach closing weekend. So you get quite a bit of a decent workspace and the chair is comfortable, looks like Icon's train. But the good thing is, if there's two of you, the bed and the workspace are, are well spaced apart. So they're not like, you know, you're not going to be sat in this office space on your laptop and then the bed's like there. There's a decent space between the work area and then where the bed is. Now also, if you really want to look at it, there's a hot ice canvas. Of course there's a hot ice canvas. But... Seriously, there's a telly, which is decent. Again, it's in a decent position for if you do want to lounge and watch the telly. It's not too far from where the bed is. You can get comfortable, watch the telly, or you can watch outside and watch what's going on at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Earlier on in this video, I did mention about the views out to Blackpool Pleasure Beach from these deluxe double rooms at the Big Blue Hotel. So it's time for me to stop talking and to show you just how amazing the view out to Blackpool Pleasure Beach is from room 339. Checkout day here at the Big Blue Hotel, so I've had a two nights stay, and I have to say I've had two very comfortable evenings, um, including one of those being after a couple of drinks in Velvet Coaster. So yeah, absolutely no complaints in terms of comfort. The only thing that I would improve on is the pillows are not very good, but 
I say that about everywhere I stay, I always moan about pillows, so it's just a minor little thing to complain about. Now I did mention earlier on in this video about breakfast and parking, so if you book direct with the Big Blue Hotel, you will get breakfast included in your stay. If you book it through something like booking.com or hotels.com, I think you have to pay for your breakfast as an extra on arrival. In terms of parking, whether you book direct or not with a Big Blue, you do have to pay £10 a night for that. And when you're checking out, you also usually have to move your car at the time of checkout. So, for example, if you have a one night stay in the Big Blue and you go out for a drink, just bear in mind that in the morning you will have to move your car unless you pay for another day on the car park. So in the summer that can be a bit of a pain because there's not a lot of parking in Blackpool. So sometimes it might just be worth paying for that extra night's parking. Also, the car park is not massive here at the Big Blue. So there is limited availability on the car park if this hotel sells out. So it's well worth noting those things. Um, I didn't film down at breakfast because it's so busy and there's a lot of families there. So didn't want to be standing there filming coffee machines or the toaster or anything like that. But what I will say is the Big Blue breakfast is amazing. So I've checked out of the Big Blue Hotel now. I have to say it was an excellent two night stay. Really nice room. Like I said earlier on, the only real complaint I've got in the room is that the pillows were just so flat. But behind us is a dedicated entrance for hotel guests into Blackpool Pleasure Beach. You can use this in the first hour of the day of the park being open and the last hour of the day. So this is gonna be a bit of a complaint. I personally think that you should be able to access the hotels in the park all day. There should be a purpose-built entrance for hotel guests to go in and out of the park as much as they want to do, and not just in the first and last hour of the day. Also, if you are staying in the Big Blue or the Boulevard, and you check out and want to access the park through the hotel entrance, you do need, you do need to go to your hotel reception, get a little card from the reception to say that you've stayed in the hotel or are staying in the hotel, and you'll be able to access the park through the, the very small hotel entrance. So that's all in this Big Blue Hotel review. And like I say, I've really, really enjoyed staying at the Big Blue Hotel. It's the first time I've stayed there for two years. It is a very good hotel, very nice. It is showing its age a little bit. Probably does need a little bit of a refurb in some of the rooms. But all in all, excellent hotel and I do recommend it. However, I must be honest, it is very expensive and it's not somewhere I'm going to stay every time I come to Blackpool. All in all, very happy. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it useful, please hit the like button. It's a little thumbs up below. Many thanks for watching. See you next time.